So thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you're at uh, the Hospitality and Tourism Conference of Philip Capital. Yeah. Uh, what exactly are you doing here? Well, actually, this is the second time I'm, I'm coming for this uh, Philip Capital investment. It's a great networking session because I get to meet a lot of analysts at one particular platform. And I get to meet my industry colleagues also uh, who tell us what is really happening. They were all talking about revival today. So I got perspective of each one of them, what they think, you know. So it's, it's a one day session where you get, you have a lot of takeaways. So I think it's been a great, great time. Okay, three key takeaways that you will walk out with from this conference. See, one is that we uh, find that everybody is looking today hopeful. Mm -hmm. You know, they feel that ache din are. So that's good. You know, I, I think, and uh, uh, I also see that you know uh, we got to start adapting to the new environment, which uh, you know, uh, like there are a lot of threats to the industry, mm -hmm. like oil rooms, Airbnb, all of that. So we got to start thinking you know, sooner than later, that what are the threats which are, you know, to the industry or whatever it is. And uh, uh, there is a lot of, uh, also, uh, we got to find newer ways of doing business. Uh, every business has to evolve, you know, so you've got to quickly find ways of, of the, you know, adapting to new trends, new this thing. Uh, like, for example, you know, mobile uh, booking. All you youngsters book only by mobile. Mm -hmm. You never go to the computer, never call up, never this thing, all that. So we go to adopt to the newer technologies and things like that. I think that's what is required today. Okay, it's interesting you spoke about threats. What are the emerging opportunities in the sector? See, emerging opportunities today, if you really look at it, is today, uh, youngsters are traveling today. Double income, no kids. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, in India, fortunately, there's a holiday for every year. No, anybody's birthday, you don't even know who the guy is, but his birthday, so Jayanti Ujati, so holiday is declared. So you have very large uh, number of long weekends. So what's happened in the last couple of years, uh, you know, our holiday destinations are getting full with people taking short breaks. So that's been a big trend in the last, which we never anticipated at hill stations, beach resorts, all these historical places get packed really, and at good rates. So I think that's one of the things which is happening actually. It's a big opportunity because India has got 50 million tourists. We get 8 million tourists from outside, but 50 million are local tourists. So that is a big opportunity, which no other country has. Maybe China has, but you know, after China, we are the only country which has that kind of a internal consumption. That's what we've been talking about for every industry. Internal consumption is there. So the customers are here. So I think there's a big, big opportunity in, in India. Okay. Uh, uh, three reasons why investors should look at uh, a company like yours. See, one thing that uh, we grew very fast, we have been growing fast in the last, uh, you know, uh, even since the uh, downturn in 2008, uh, when we took some quick decisions and, you know, sort of pared down the debt to a very manageable level, others are struggling. Mm -hmm. We have done that. We were sitting at 380 crore debt. Today we are sitting at 105 crore debt. So, uh, so we are manageable. Our business is going to be sustainable. We have grown on the asset light. We are growing on the asset light strategy now, which delivers much better and faster return than asset light. So we have decided not to right now invest in assets for the time being. In fact, we are going to divest one or two of our assets, which may make our company debt free. Mm -hmm. uh, very shortly. So I think uh, uh, there is, uh, you know, a lot of reasons why people should invest in our company because the growth is very much. We were 37 hotels today. In 2001, we were one hotel. So, uh, so I think very few companies have shown that kind of exponential growth in the number of properties. So our brand is growing. So I think uh, there's a lot of reasons why people should invest in our company. What are these properties that you're planning to divest? No, there's just two parcels of land which we uh, decided that we don't want to uh, build hotels on. We bought this hotel land. So that's what we are trying to... So you're seeking to raise like a hundred odd crores to sort of uh, pay off your debt completely? Uh, not completely, but uh, the parent company debt will be wiped out once these two lands are sold. So once that happens, then, then uh, you know, it, it's a smooth sailing.
Okay, finally, good times here for the hospitality sector. Definitely, definitely. If the country is going through a, you know, okay, I think the Modi government has done a great job in terms of you know, bringing the country back. If you see amongst the BRICS station, we are the only shining star. So I think things are definitely moving in the right direction. And, uh, you know, they've put that visa on, you know, that electronic mm -hmm. visa. They've done a lot of things, you know. Now they're doing Swachh Bharat, they're cleaning up a lot of tourist destinations. So it will take a little time, but I think I am very, very hopeful of, you know, a bright future for this country and particularly the hospitality industry. All right, sir. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.